perfect Sunday on the bluest. We looked happy, but I was going through it. Yeah, all my senses, really no way. Good morning. Hello, friends. It is a beautiful Sunday here in New York City, and I am going to church today. I'm going to church for the first time alone here in New York. I'm gonna try Hillsong Church. I'm a little confused because on the maps it's a different location than where service is today, but let's go. You know, it's not every day you have to go through Times Square to get to church, so. This was the point when I asked myself, what church was I exactly going to? But luckily it was not Scientology and I ended up next door at Sony Hall. Okay, church was super cute. It was an extended worship service, so we did a lot of singing and praying. And now I'm praying to get these dead ends off me. So I am going to Hair Becca. I just want like a haircut and a deep condition because um, I'm used to getting my highlights in Texas. So I'm gonna go with that. Let me try and explain what just happened at the hair salon. So I looked through their website, but there was an option to do like a Groupon, which was like 69 bucks for a cut in a deep condition. And then I went through the whole thing and got it done. And um, at the very end, she's like, where's your voucher? And I was like, I want a voucher. And I showed her all of my like comp order confirmations, but none of them were the Groupon voucher. That's because I booked it through their website. Really weird, but anyway, while I was there, I had to literally, like at the front desk, download Groupon, buy the Groupon voucher, act stupid, and then wait for the voucher to process, because it takes a while, like it could take up to five days. <sighs> but it finally processed, and it all worked out, because I, the Groupon was $69, but without the Groupon, it was like $200. So, figured it out. One thing about doing laundry here is I have a laundry mat in the building next to me. But you have to have a laundry card and you have to have cash put on your laundry card. I leave my laundry bag down here. People are ruthless though. Like if they need to use the dryer and your stuff is in there and it's done, they will kick it out. I've had my stuff kicked out of the washing machine and I found it in one of those things and it was sopping wet. Not a fun day. I got these smart light bulbs from Amazon and I put them in my Facebook Marketplace lamp and there's an app that I can change the colors. Hello. I can change the colors of the lamp. So I have to do it one by one but like Still pretty sick. I need to put the sheets on the bed and I don't feel like putting the sheets on the bed, so I'm gonna leave that here for now. Do I wanna put my clean sheets on the bed right now? No. Am I gonna do it right now so that I don't have to do it later? Yeah. Then I think I'm gonna go grocery shopping after a bit. Duvet cover 
It's the worst chore ever. But it's one of the most rewarding ones because there's nothing like a super clean bed, you know? Brush sheets, brush duvet cover. I mean, there's few greater joys in life. This is a challenge though. I did it. The best thing to do on a Sunday. Clean sheets. Clean bed. Slay girl. I got my reusable grocery bags and I'm ready. I'm a little creepy, but I'm ready to go to Trader Joe's. All right, I'm home with the Trader Joe's bags. Guys, both of these bags are so ridiculous. You have But I thought I'd give you a little haul. I don't love this haul, to be honest, because... I don't know what I bought. You know what I mean? Like, you know those days where you go to the grocery store with a plan? And you leave like, wow, what a good plan. I didn't, I don't know what I did. Anyway, so we got sliced mushrooms. Fiber whole wheat bread. Brussels sprouts. Specifically to use this balsamic glaze. Oat milk. Almond milk. I have been needing body lotion, so I got this Trader Joe's lotion. I don't know. Red pepper, onion, avocado, lemon, red potatoes, and then this seasoning is called 21 Seasoning Salt. I'm not seasoning salute. Okay, not sure what's going on there. Black beans and salsa. It's a really good salsa. And a sweet potato. So that was a win. Spinach. <laughs> Dude, these are so good. Sour cream glazed donuts. If you love cake donuts, that's basically what this is. I love them so freaking much. Hash browns, because I've been doing them in my air fryer in the morning and it tastes better than McDonald's hash browns. Green beans, baby cauliflower. I don't really know what's going on with those two choices. I don't normally get them, but I need something green. Sliced cheddar cheese. I am a cheese girl, so can't wait to just reach for that. This was random. This is ricotta and spinach filled ravioli. I don't know. Um, I got, what are these? Cucumbers, feta cheese, and hummus. I'm a drink girly as well. So, Trilogy Kombucha. Because I was really wanting wine tonight, but I don't need wine. It's a Sunday night. I have work tomorrow. So, I got kombucha and then grapefruit juice and blood orange Italian soda. So, I recently got their grapefruit Italian soda and it was so good that I saw they had blood orange tonight and I want to try that. Okay, you got me. I got a steak. Your girl's missing Texas, okay? I'm so sorry. I love cows. I really do. But I wanted a steak. Okay, this is where things get weird turkey, corn dogs. <laughs> Um, this is like glass noodle stir fry. White rice is a staple. And then for meats, I got chicken, chicken breakfast sausage I wanted to try out, and then ground turkey. So I'll probably do this for like taco meat, this for in the morning, and then I really need a meal prep because I need to take food to work tomorrow. So... We'll see, but I'm definitely having a steak tonight. I'm very excited about that. Now I'm going to put this disaster up and start cooking dinner.